if you don't know, I've been experimenting with this YouTube channel for about a year now, just trying to figure things out, trying to figure out how I'm going to address the content on my channel. And I'm always out here on this belt line because that's where my comfort level is. I don't do a bunch of editing and putting lights and features and things that fly by on the screen. My content is gonna come straight from this belt line when my spirit is open and I can hear clearly out here in nature without me having to do a bunch of extra stuff and buy a bunch of extra equipment. Not slamming anyone else who does that, but that's just not my thing. I wanna talk about the education of our kids today because I've been mentioning the teacher shortage that is impending. And there are several things going on, but the main focus is that it's our responsibility to educate our kids. And I'm not even talking about the current teachers. Research has already shown that students do better when the teachers look like the students they teach. In other words, same nationality, same ethnicity, same race. Now we have great teachers in all races that reach all children. That's not even a debate. But to bring out excellence in all kids, the teachers need to mirror the students. People in education know that. So the teacher shortage is coming from the fact that the student population is changing and everyone doesn't want to teach cross-cultural other kids. Well, how can you say that, Mr. Carr? That's not fair, that's not true. It's absolutely true. I've seen people leave neighborhoods three different times over a 40 year span in my lifetime because certain cultures moved into the neighborhood. I saw it as a child in East Point. People moved out. I saw it again in another county in Jonesboro when people started moving in. I'm talking about whole cities and whole counties clearing out. I saw it again in my last school district spanning 1975 till 2020. So don't tell me people don't leave because of the cultural changes. Same thing is happening in the classroom and the teaching profession. Yeah, we're gonna say it's salary and conditions. In a way it is conditions because certain people can't cross cultural lines and address kids and it makes it a little more tougher for them. Now I know things changed post COVID. I know kids are a little bit different in this generation, but that's because of the exposure that they have to the media and all of the messaging that they get. But that's our fault, we do that. They don't control any of that. They don't own anything. Oh, that's programming. I'm making this video to implore us to get your kids to be teachers. My son's gonna be one. He's actually been working in the rec centers for about three years now and he loves it. And he's gonna continue through school and get his credentials to be a teacher. Otherwise, you're gonna be taught by a bunch of people who absolutely have no interest in your child, probably from another country in a totally different culture that may not speak your language. I'm just saying, wake up, see what's going on. You see these news stories talking about teacher shortages. It's not going away, it's only gonna get worse. Feels good saying what I wanna say in retirement. I meant every word.